solving for area. In this example, we're gonna go over solving area of a square, a rectangle, and a parallelogram because they all actually have the same area formula, but you need to make sure you're using the right measurements in each case. So let's look at square first. So for our square, our formula is base times height. So we have to figure out what's our base and what's our height. So our base is normally, it is the base number here, but in a square, if you realize, all measurements, all side lengths are the exact same number. So if we write out our formula here, we know our base will be five centimeters. Our height is always 90 degrees from the base upward. Therefore, this length here, which in the case of a square, all side lengths are the same. Therefore, it'll be five times five. If you do five times five, our answer will be 25 centimeters squared. Now make sure that you always put your units, your centimeters, and your squared. All right, let's look at the rectangle now. So same idea. Area is base times height. Our base here, which will be the same length as the opposite side, so A equals to seven times our height. And again, height has to be 90 degrees from the base to the top. So either of these two side lengths would be our height, which in this case is five. So if we were to take seven times five, our answer would be 35 centimeters squared. All right, now looking at a parallelogram, this is where it gets a little trickier. It's still the same formula, so area is base times height, but it's important to realize what my height is and what my base is. So let's look at the base first. Your base is still that bottom of your shape, which in this case, again, parallelogram, opposite sides are equal, so we'll have base as eight centimeters times our height. Now our height, super important. Height again, just like in the rectangle and in the square, it has to be 90 degrees from the base upward. Therefore, our height is not this side length here because this is not 90 degrees. This here is not a 90 degree angle, so this cannot be our height. It's slanted. Whereas this here is 90 degrees from the base upward, therefore, three centimeters is going to be our height. So you go ahead and solve that there. Eight times three, we get 24 centimeters squared.